to press record because I have a special <laughs> guest here today and I am actually going to put the spotlight on her. I have Miss Anna here today and she is here from the Department of Public Safety and Transportation and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself and read a special story for us today because May is, what is it? Bicycle Safety Month, right? Yes, okay, Miss Anna, take it away. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for having me again. We have this tradition every year in May, National Bike Safety Month. I come to your wonderful library and we talk a little bit about safety. Because, and May is perfect because the weather is just starting to be wonderful, gorgeous weather, perfect weather for riding a bike. And I'm sure a lot of you have bikes. And I'm sure a lot of you ride your bikes already, but, and it's fun. It's perfect exercise. So it's, it's all good, right? Except that, as you know, sometimes people fall, maybe hit their heads or something. So we don't want to get hurt, right? Nobody here wants to get hurt. So we have to find ways to have fun, to ride those bicycles, but be safe when we do that. And maybe you noticed that both of us are wearing our bicycle helmets. And this is the most important thing you can do for bike safety, right? The number one thing that you can do to be safe on the bike is to always, always, always put on your helmet. You think you can do that? I see somebody wearing a helmet <laughs> already right okay i can see your helmets okay so uh that's a good thing another thing that we can do for safety is to wear colors that make it easy for drivers to see us even when you are just beginning your career as a bike rider so i'm sure you ride in safe places you don't ride on the road where cars are but it's a good strategy to, to just get into the habit of putting on something bright. So when you go out riding, you put like yellow colors or white colors or orange, bright green, something that, you know, when people look at you, they can see you from a distance, okay? So that's actually a smart thing to do, something that you can do for safety. Some people put extra colors, reflectors on their bike. Some people may put on some lights, like I have a very bright light here, see? So anything, lights, colors, anything that make you easier to see. Also, okay, I can see more helmets <laughs> being put on and more bright colors. So that's fantastic. That's fantastic that you, that you, you know, you have these things. Just remember to always, always, always put them on when you are out there riding, okay? And that way, everybody will be safer. And one more thing I would like to mention that you can do for safety is choose places where you ride, okay? So away from traffic would be smart at, your, at this point, away from cars. Uh, but also it's important to ride on places that are even. So like when you ride on a grass or something, it could have some, some, some holes, some, some rocks on it that you don't see. So it's easy to, to fall off the bike. So it's better to find places that are even, that don't have too many uh, to, things that you have to ride around. And you can see where you are going. And, uh, and that way, you know, you may not, it, it, it's more likely that you will not fall and you will be safer that way, okay? So there are some, some rules for safety, but also I was hoping you will enjoy what, listening to a little story. This is one of my favorite biking stories. And it's a, it's, it's a, it's a Berenstein bear and his father, and it's a very special day for the small bear today because he got 
his first bike. See, the, the father just brought this, a very beautiful red, brand new bike, and this small bear is so excited about it, right? You can see how excited he is, a brand new bike, and he wants to ride it right away. He says, thanks, dad, thanks. For me, you say, I'm going to ride it right away. But the father says, not yet, not yet, not yet, my son. First come the lessons and the fun. How to get on is lesson one, right? So he wants to, the father wants to teach him first safety, how to ride the bike before he actually gets on the bike and rides it. So the first lesson is to get on, how to get on the bike. Let's look at this picture. Does it look like a very safe way of getting on the bike? <laughs> it doesn't, right? So the, the small bear is looking, lesson one? Is that lesson one? And the father says, yes. This is what you should not do, right? So let this be a lesson for you. Now you saw how dangerous that was. So now hopefully you will be careful when you get on the bike. And the small bear says, yes, it was that. It was a good lesson. Now I see that was a very good lesson for me. And he thinks, okay, maybe that's enough. Maybe he can start writing now, says, dad, where are you going? You showed me how, why don't you let me write it now? Not yet, not yet, not yet, my son. Before you do, I'll have you to give you lesson two, right? Lesson two, just watch small bear, just watch your pup. Lesson two is, how to stop, right? It's good to know how to stop a bike, just in case you have to stop very quickly. But just look at this picture. Do you think it's a good way to stop? Is this how you stop when you, when you want to stop the bike? No, right? That looks like a very dangerous way to stop. So the small bear says, a very good lesson. Thank you, Pop. May I write it now that you showed me how? May I? May I write it now? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, my son. You have more to learn, and I have to show you how to turn. Right? So that's lesson number three, how to turn. I'm afraid to even turn this page now because I don't know. Okay, it doesn't look so bad now. He's preparing to turn, lesson number three. But here, see how he turned? We don't even see him. So the small bear says, wow, what a lesson that number three. That may be a little too hard for me. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is how he turned. It's a very scary picture, right? I hope this is not how you turn. Okay, this is what you must never do. Now let this be a lesson for you. And the small bear has to help him down from wherever he landed. And he says, it surely was a good lesson, Dad. Now I see that was a very good lesson for me. Wait, my son, the dad says, you must learn some more. I have to teach you lesson four, right? Lesson four. When you come to a puddle and you see there is a big puddle here. And the question is, when you come to a puddle, what will you do? Will you go around or will you ride right through? Right, what do you think? Do you think, you can show me with your hands, do you think riding around is better or going right through is better? All right, let's see. Let's see what he did. 
Okay, looks like he didn't go around, right? Looks like he's right in the middle of that puddle. Hmm. So I hope when you are out there and you see a puddle, I hope you will not do what he did, right? It's not so good to ride right through. You are right, Dad. I can clearly see why that lesson was good for me. And again, he had to help the dad get out of there. And he says, now when I get you out, may I ride it then? Please, dad, will you tell me when? Of course, you may ride it. You can, you will, after lesson five, right? And lesson five is how to go downhill, right? That looks like a very steep and dangerous hill. I don't know, let's see. Let's see what happened on that hill. Oops, can you see all those animals, chickens, and the cow even? He must have gone very fast if this is what all this caused, right? Well, not a very safe way to go, definitely, right? Wow, the small bear says, what a lesson. That looks hard, going downhill through a chicken yard. That looks hard. I'm sure it was hard. Okay, dad, please tell me, will I ever get to ride it or will I just keep running beside it? So he is getting a little impatient, right? But they're like, will I, will I, will I, will I ever ride it? And the father says, pretty soon, son, son, but not just yet. There is still one lesson you have to get. Lesson six, the last lesson, lesson six, is the hardest yet. To be a good writer, to really know how, you have to learn about safety now. To be safe, small bear, when you ride a bike, you cannot just take any road you like. Before you take one, you must know where that road is going to. I think it's a smart thing, right? If you go somewhere, it's a good idea to know where that road is going so you don't get lost or you don't end up like the father did here. Right? The road suddenly ended. <laughs> there was this big pool there. Uh-oh, not too good, right? That looks like a very dangerous lesson. And of course, this is how he ended up. See, this is what you should not do. Now let this be a lesson for you. It surely was that, now I see, that was another good lesson for me. So the little small bear saw all those things, he learned all those lessons, at the end, he had to bring his father back home, right? But you, as you see, he learned everything. Now he's writing. Not only is he writing, but he's also, <laughs> he, he also, also his father is, is being transported <laughs> back home to safety. And he says, look, ma, there is his mother here, very proud of him. He says, look, ma, now I can write it. See? Dad had some very good lessons for me. Okay, so those lessons were pretty scary at some point. At, at some points, right? You, you you see that it was that there were some dangerous moments for the big bear, but I think we learned a little bit, right? So next time when you are there, when you see a big puddle, you know that it's always safest to go around it, right? You wouldn't go through because maybe it's big, maybe it's deep, all kinds of things can happen, right? And uh, when you go somewhere, it's a good idea to know where you are going, not like the father that ended up somewhere falling down. And uh, one lesson that we mentioned before and was not in the book, but I want to stress it one more time, is the helmet. 
everywhere that you go, make sure your head is protected. Like your brain is in there. You don't want to hit your head and injure your brain, right? Brain is very a very important part of your body. You don't want to have a brain injury. And the helmet is wonderful at protecting your brain. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope when you're out there, you will think not only about fun, but also about safety. So nobody ever gets hurt while riding your bike. All righty. Thank you so much, Ms. And I'm going to sing a few songs about bicycles now. Oh, yes. So on the same theme, okay? So I'm just going to replace the spotlight here. Okay. And all right, everybody can stay muted while I'm singing the songs. Here we go. So the first one we're going to do is it's called a bicycle built for two. Okay. This is an old song. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer true. I'm half crazy over the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. You know, there are some bicycles that are built for two. You saw a father that he was sitting on the handlebars, but in the old days, and I think there are still some models today, they have bicycles that have two seats on them. So that's what that song is about. And now we're going to sing the wheels on the bike. So instead of the wheels on the bus, we're going to sing the wheels on the bike go round and round. Okay, so you listen to the words and you see if you could do some of these um, motions, okay? The wheels on my bike go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on my bike go round and round, all through the town. The helmet on my head keeps me safe. Keeps me safe, keeps me safe. The helmet on my head keeps me safe all through the town. The horn on my bike goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on my bike goes beep, 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 all through the town. The pedals on my bike go up and down, up and down. Up and down, the pedals on my bike go up and down, all through the town. The children on the bikes go wee, 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 wee. The children on the bikes go wee, 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 all through the town. Yay! So I wanted to show you some other stories that we have. I think we have time for me to read one more. But as I said, some of you have, who here, give me a thumbs up if you have received a book bundle. So let me just pull my chair up. Hold on. How many of you have received a book bundle? I know some of you are here. You received a book bundle? So we can put some books together for you. Say if you want some books about bikes or some favorite books that you like a certain author, we could put it together for you for you to pick up from the library. So here I have some other books about bicycles. I like my bike. Off we go. And Everything Goes Henry on Wheels. So why don't we take a look at this one? And this is an I Can Read book. So if you're learning how to read, this might be something that you wanna take a look at. Okay, Henry has a red bike. Henry loves to ride his bike. 
he can ride up and down. Henry can ride by himself. I can ride far, Henry says. I want to take a long ride. Oh, just like the little bear did, right? You may go, says Henry's mom. You may go around the block. Boring, says Henry, but I will stay on our block. Henry waves to his mom and then he rides away. Henry rides down the street. He rides by a boy on a tricycle. He rides by a girl skipping rope. Henry rides past a cat. He rides past two dogs. Henry turns the corner. He sees a line of people. Henry stops to look. Wow, says Henry. Henry rides some more. He sees a man with a shovel. He sees a mixer too. Henry stops to watch the barrel turns and gravel pours out. Henry waves goodbye. He rides around the corner and some big kids ride up. Nice bike, one kid says. Way to ride, they say. Henry rides down the street. Henry sees kids swinging. Henry sees kids sliding and playing in the sand. Henry rides past. He waves but does not stop. Henry hears some noise. He looks up the street. More machines, he says. Henry stops to watch. A bulldozer pushes dirt. A dump truck backs up. A backhoe digs. The dump truck drives away. Wow, says Henry. Henry watches a crane. The crane swings around. Men unhook the load. The dump truck comes back. The backhoe fills it up. What a good day, says Henry. And see where Henry is staying? He's staying in the safety zone here. Henry rides up a hill. He rides down a hill. Henry goes fast. Henry sees a truck. The truck plays a song. Ice cream, yum, says Henry. Everyone wants ice cream. I love ice cream, says Henry. Woof, woof, says a dog. Cool says Henry. Henry turns a corner. He rides up to his house. Hello, says Henry's mom. How was your ride? Great, says Henry. I want to go again. Lunch first, Henry says. I know a good place to go. I can show you the way. Okay, says Henry's mom. I will come with you. Show me the way and see how they both have their helmets on for safety. Surprise, says Henry. Next is ice cream. Yum, says mom. The end. See, Henry was able to scope out where they could go for lunch. Isn't that nice? So I want to thank Miss Anna for coming today. And she is uh, sent me a, a sheet that I can share with you on bicycle safety. Um, so Miss Anna, you can unmute. I'm sorry, I had everybody muted before. If you want to unmute and we'll go ahead and do that. And also Miss Jessica has printed out some coloring pages with the Berenstein Bears riding their bikes. So when you stop by the library, you can get those as well. So we'll sing a goodbye song. We want to thank Miss Anna. I would like everybody to unmute and thank, thank Miss Anna personally. You can say thank you to her for coming thank today. You. And okay. tell her you're going to be driving your thank bike you. safely. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for having me. Stay safe out there. Thank you. Okay, we're going to sing a song. Don't go yet. Rita, here we go. Watch this out. All right. The rest of Harvey, okay. we don't care. So we'll pretend that we're coming around the mountain on our bikes, all right? Mm. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Beep, beep. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Beep, beep. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming.
coming around the mountain, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Beep, beep. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. Whoa, back. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. Whoa, back. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. Beep, beep. Whoa, back. And we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. Yes, we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. Yes, we'll all go out to meet her. And we'll all go out to meet her. Yes, we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. Whoa, back. Beep, beep. She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. She'll be wearing red pajamas. She'll be wearing red pajamas. She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. Hi, babe. Whoa, back. Beep, beep. One more time. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yay! Now, don't forget, we have story time on Tuesday in the park, Circuit Avenue Park. So sign up online. We do have limited attendance, um, so that's 11 o'clock, Miss Jessica. 11 o'clock on Tuesday, the 25th. Miss Jessica and I will be in Circuit Avenue Park for our first story live story time in over a year. We're very excited about that. And again, thank you, Miss Anna, for coming. And we hope you have a great. You can unmute to say goodbye. We hope that you all have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.